canine guidance has been defined as the contact of mandibular and maxillary anterior, especially canine teeth, during protrusive and lateral mandibular movements, while the posterior teeth are in disclusion. This situation prevents the molars from detrimental lateral forces. In group functioning occlusion, the canine teeth are designed shorter and sometimes slightly in increased overjet and premolars or molars are also expected to contact together with the anterior teeth during mandibular lateral movements. Besides these theoretical definitions, type of occlusion in clinical practice has another importance from the patient's aspect, and that is the chewing efficiency. Since the canine overbite is increased in canine guidance, the patient is forced to chew in more vertical movements. Therefore, chewing cycle becomes narrower and its rate decreases. On the other hand, in group functioning occlusion, where the canine is specified, the chewing phase is elongated during mastication since the lateral movements are made more easily and the food can be more efficiently ground due to increased number of tooth contact. This situation means that the type of occlusion may change the chewing efficiency to an extent. Canine guidance protects the whole masticatory system better with its steep and narrow chewing stroke, while group functioning occlusion provides a more comfortable and better mastication since the mandibular teeth come into contact with the maxillary teeth in oblique direction. In this horizontal movement type, the foot can be longer and more effectively ground with the triangular ridges of the functional cusps.